this in the United States of America, a district attorney's got the power of the Supreme Court because the court system in the United States needs a lot of work if it's going to ever get back on its feet. It needs a lot of uh, readjusting. Uh, the district attorney has got uh, the arbitrary uh, power to take the grand jury and indict anyone he wants and make any time level. Uh, he can control time. Okay. That's the reason he faked right. on you and said, I stopped his watch. Mm -hmm. Actually, he stopped his watch and he keeps blaming it on me because he's got, he's got time. I just got a note from him from uh, Geneva, Switzerland. And, and if I compromise with him, we can go to Geneva and talk about the situation, you know, because he, he's beginning to see the immediacy of, of, of the soul. Let me say this to all of you guys, man. The soul moves things beyond our comprehension, man. We can't blame one human being for the Second World War. We're to keep blaming Hitler. Hitler was just one particular person that was picked up and thrown off into the world. Okay. You, you know? can't do that. If one person goes and shoots another person or stabs another person, we can say, hey, he did that. Okay. Okay, that's what the law is about. Okay, well, we'll just for the moment, we'll accept that you went there at the Tate House, you didn't order it. Okay, well, we'll buy that. Just for now. Keep laboring the same. Absolutely, absolutely. We'll just, let's move on one notch, and you know where we're going the next night. Now, you were there that night. You can't say you weren't there. I was there with At the Labianca's house. Uh, yeah. 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 So, what happened there? Uh, Harold True lived next door to the Labianca house. It's an it's a upper class crash pad. It's uh, an expensive house that a bunch of unexpensive people got together and rented so they can front and play expensive. And we would party there often with a lot of well-known people. And next door was an empty house. The Bayanka house was an empty house. And what we used to do is when you meet a lady in this big expensive place where everybody's wearing their finer scattered all of a sudden, and we just slip over under their heads, down the road, over in the summit, an old raggedy couch in the good little room. They say, well, Jim, that's a little place that you party and you play on the little darkness side. Okay? But Yanka had just moved in there. Had no idea those people were there. I walked right on in the place, man. Tex and I and some other people came, drove up to see Harold. We went up to the house. Harold was locked down. Nobody was there. We went over to the next pad. Whoop! There were some people there. I said, whoop! I got the split. I'll see you guys later. Do, 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 do. I went do, 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 do. I was gone. So? The line with the broom. The line with the broom. I'm a crook guy. So you? What you do with your claymore, it's up to you and your claymore. Okay. Just don't shake your thing at me. And I'm not shaking my thing at you. If you go and you decide to do blah, 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 that's on you. It's got nothing to do with me. I walk. So Tex goes in the house. Tex did what Tex, Tex. did. Okay. And if you want to find out what Tex did, then you ask Tex. All right. Now, if Tex was in the same room, I would hold you and Tex for Tex to tell the truth. And Tex would tell the truth. Oh. And he would tell you. A lot of people ask him, yeah. and he won't say a thing. He won't, yeah. And you know, you know from that, you know from that where it's at. I'll tell you what you can tell me, though. Uh, was Tex really close to you? Was Tex really what? Close to you? No, no. Did he ride, did he really ride with the family? Was he? Oh, what does that mean, ride with the family? You see what I'm saying? Well, you what guys, you've got all that stuff in your head from all those books and stuff. Oh, well, get it out, Charlie. Pick I wrote, it up. I wrote oh, a motorcycle um, with a guitar and a sleeping bag. Yeah. If you can keep up with me, Okay, if you can't, then, you know, I mean, don't get on my leg, man, you know, I mean, get down off my leg. I ain't got time for no rumpkins. You dig? In other words, I live fast, man. I move. I'm only going to be out of jail a few days, man. I may be out of jail six months. I may be out of jail three. You know, in other words, every time a guy gets out of jail, he's not moving on the same level that you guys live on, man. He's moving on a... He's, he's moving. He's moving faster. He's doing other things. In other words, like, it's not the same... 
It's not the same world. It's the underworld. It's a subculture. It's a, it's a world where you live by your word or you die by your word. If your word's no good, you can't deal. If you don't have a dealer or you don't have a connection, uh, you're in trouble. And you've got you to gotta be truthful to have a connection. If you don't have a connection, forget it. Because you, you, you're not going to make anything. And, you know, it's just... Uh, I, I never said I wasn't an underworld. I never said I wasn't an outlaw. I never said I wasn't all the things that the pirates are. What I said was, I did not break the law. And that goes to the rights okay. of, of the words that so are spoken in English, you wherever didn't. English center is. You didn't. Wherever the center of English is, you tell them I said that. So you didn't break the law, so you didn't, once again, you didn't tell them to go and do it? I got better sense than that. I know the laws of conspiracy. I understand mm -hmm. what malice of forethought is. Mm -hmm. Here's the thing that you people don't understand. 1944, I went into the underworld. I went into a judge that was the same judge that was in Nuremberg, who was hanging Waffen soldiers over there in the war. I stayed in the judge's robes under Dr. Hartman, under these men here. These men raised me. This guy raised me. Since little kid, man, I'm like his little boy. He raised me all my life. Everything I know, I got inside. I don't have any parents. I don't have mothers and fathers and family unit like you guys do, you okay? I live in prison. I was raised inside the judge's body. I'm in the judge's room. Okay, so you understand the law of conspiracy? Certainly, I understand the law. So and I would not break the law. You. It's stupid. Let me say what the law is. The law is the will of the king. The law is the will of God. God makes the law. You break the law, you're calling it down on yourself, man. It's okay. a simple thing, you know. Okay, so you go in, you come out. Tex goes in, bad things happen, we got to go ask Tex. I don't know whether you call them bad, whatever you call well, them, that's what you call them. Broadly speaking, killing people I didn't well. call them bad, I didn't call them anything. All right, so that's, that's your judgment. But it had nothing to do with you. I haven't made a judgment, I haven't got my rule yet. But nothing to do with you? Sure, all, everything has something to do with me. I'm responsible for everything, aren't you? And you knew the straight Satan. I right? knew everything. You knew the straight Satan. Certainly. Okay. Certainly I knew. And somebody said not so long ago that a relative of one of the people who was killed was Grant was was, 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 was the boyfriend of one I, of the I run them off the road. One of the relatives of the people who were yeah. killed yeah. had a boyfriend who was a straight Satan. Yeah. Did you know that? Yeah. You knew about that. Yeah. Did you know it? Let did you know did you know it then? Let me see this. Let me see this. Yeah. I'm not saved. I'm good. Yeah. Okay, well, don't I'm say, not don't, say, don't, I'm, don't, not okay. saying, I'm not saying that I won't do what I have to do, All and, right. I, and I haven't done what I've okay. done, but whatever I've done, I know. All right. And no so, deal. okay, let's just, let let's just that. deal with that tiny little thing. This guy is a straight Satan who's going out with this relative of one of the people who got killed. Did you know about that? Did you, did you know it then? Bagnanka was a, a, an Italian. That's why they put uh, Bugliosi in, uh, uh, I've been in the Mafia for, since I was 17 years old, with Frank Costello off the top of Lewisburg, Pennsylvania in 1952, when he was busted, uh, when Luciano uh, uh, was deported from Batista from Cuba. And there was, when I tell you that I have been in the underworld since I was 10 years old, there isn't nobody in the underworld that I don't know. There isn't anything I don't know from here to Sicily. Okay. From here to the Pope's, uh, uh, the reason he lost his seat. You know, right. we got 700 years of Italian Popes, and yeah, we got a Polish, uh, Polish uh, KGB, and then uh, it was a different world now. So you know uh, everything that happened? Now. Everything that happened in the penitentiary. You can't help but know. If you stay in the cell long enough, you people come and go. You know, you, you, you know, after a while, it's not too much that the guys here don't know, man. In other words, you, you, you got a cop in there, that cop knows everything, and he got a star man, he knows everything that's going on. He knows what's in everybody's head, what's in your pockets, what's in the laundry, <laughs> what's in the garbage truck, ain't nothing, they don't miss anything. Man. Okay, so uh, these people have died on these two nights. Are you sorry about that? There you go. Just asking, come on. It's a fair question. <coughs> if somebody sends you in here for all these years, it's a paper, it's a question on everybody's mind. Is he sorry? Is he sorry? Mm -hmm. 